Hey, yo, what's going on, fam? It's your man, VKJ, and yes, I'm back with another video. Yes, The Shy is coming back. They just dropped the official trailer and some press picks, so I'm definitely going to be sharing that with you today. We're going to get into it, break it down, what to expect. But yeah, the title, the theme that they're going with is who will reign, right? So who's going to reign supreme? Who's going to reign over The Shy? Who will win? Who will be unalive? That's what we're going to find out in this final part, this final portion of the ending of the Shy family. So if you're ready, you're set. We're going to break down these picks from the trailer fam. And it looks like your girl Tiffany is lining up with the queen pin herself, Alicia. Right now that Rob is in the hospital, they're definitely lining up to make sure everything is good on the business side. But of course, we're going to see the back and forth with Keisha and your boy Emmett. And it looks like there's a new church going on with a new pastor. Yeah, it looks like your boy Papa's looking for a new place to definitely worship the Lord. But we got a new character coming to the show. That's right. Daniel Watts is going to be playing this character, Pastor Zeke, and he's going to be the pastor over this new congregation, this new church that it looks like either it's part of Kenya's church or this is Papa just trying to branch off. And I'm sure it's hard to go back to his own church because now that his pops has been on the line, Papa got to find a new way, a new way to worship God and stay true to himself. So, yeah, we're going to see a whole lot of partying going on. Of course, we see Gemma. You know, we see everybody getting down. We see Emmett, Keisha. We're going to see a whole lot of partying going down. It looks like they're going to be in a good place. Maybe this season because last part of the season, yeah, they was not in a good place. But, yeah, we are back at Smokies and it looks like. Somebody's going to be rolling up on Emmett, possibly a drive by going on at Smokey's, similar to what he tried to do with Duda and Rob. Right. So, yeah, it looks like, yeah, he's like, yeah, everybody get down because they're going to be pulling out the straps. And, yeah, it's definitely going to be a drive by at Smokey's. Who else could it be? Of course, it's going to be Duda and them. But could it be somebody else? Right. Could it be somebody else? For retribution for what happened to Rob. We're going to find out as we go along in this final portion. But yes, now that Rob is in the hospital, Mama Alicia is not happy about that at all. Right. At all. She's not happy about it at all. We're going to be seeing Darnell definitely being grandpa and being pop pop and all of this and that. Definitely taking care of the fam. That's one of my favorite characters. But yes, Duda will be facing some major challenges himself. Not only was he almost unalive. But yeah, you already know that we're going to have people going after Duda one way or another. Roslyn will be trying to, you know, do some cleanup or whatever, but it's going to be real hard for Duda this time because, yeah, he's going to have to pay. Like, he didn't pull the trigger on Rob, right? Because Rob was about to take him out. But yeah, Rob was in the hospital. So he's going to be mad about a lot of things. It's going to be a lot of betrayal, a lot of twists. You know, I believe that. You know, Bakari definitely is not going to want to be down with him anymore because Bakari's too close and it's getting too hot. So Rob is still in the hospital. We will see Rob. But yes, Mama Alicia, she is going to make Duda pay. She's going to make Duda and whoever's involved pay for her baby boy being in the hospital. Again, it is her fault because she's the one that sent him in there knowing that he wasn't fully equipped to do that. But yeah, like I said, Bakari, he's going to be pretty upset as he has been, you know, the past, you know, season. He has been very upset with Duda and, and how Duda's moving, you know what I'm saying? Because he is connected still to the family. You know what I mean? He was really upset when Papa's Papa was gone. But Alicia, we're seeing a whole lot of Alicia come about. So I'm thinking this season, this portion of the season, we're seeing Alicia, she's going to be putting in some work. And she's going to be maneuvering her way to take over, to take out Duda and to get people in positions, right? To get some of the people that we know and love in positions and some people out of positions. But yes, of course, Keisha's telling Emmett, yo, you need to pay back your debt to Duda. But it looks like Emmett is going to see Mama Alicia. But look at Shad. Shad is working for Alicia now, it looks like. Like he's a bodyguard because he's looking all cleaned up. But yeah, she got the strap and she is not playing. She's probably like, yo, I want some answers as to why my son is in the hospital and you're not in the hospital. Right. So she's going to be making a lot of moves because I'm seeing her all throughout this trailer right here. Right. Now that Kevin is gone, will Maisha and Papa 
get back together. What do you guys think? Drop your comments below. I know Pop is still going through it, but it looks like, I mean, there's a possibility. What do y'all think, right? Yo, listen, there's a whole plot to go against your boy Duda, right? So, of course, Alicia's going to use her right here to maneuver and find out exactly what's going on with Duda. At the same time, he does have relationships, so she's going to be playing both sides, right? But Alicia did call in a favor for her to help her take out Duda. So, yes, Papa looked like he joined in the church in the whole nine. Yeah, he's going to be moved to join this church right here, and he's going to be making some different moves. And one of those different moves is he's probably going to go to Kenya to probably or possibly beg for forgiveness. And he might be in a better place to have a relationship with Kenya. Will she accept him back into her life? We'll see. But yeah, somebody getting paid off. Somebody getting paid off some real stacks. Who is that? Yeah, it's your boy Jake getting paid off. It looks like he's selling his clothes now in a department store. But you know what? It actually looks like this is not a department store. This looks like Kevin's old apartment. And he turned it into a department store. Wow. So, yeah, he just got some stacks and somebody just bought up probably some racks of his clothes right there. You know what I mean? That looks exactly like the apartment. And, yeah, your boy Trig, I don't know. He looking kind of happy, of course, for his brother. Right. But it doesn't look like Trig made the move to take out Duda. Doesn't look like that happened. And, yeah, now we in a new spot. Your boy Jake has his spot now because Kevin gave it up to him. And it doesn't look good. For Gemma and Jake. But Jake is definitely going to get stuck up again. All right. Maybe get robbed. You know what I mean? He's making a whole lot of money. If you're getting stacks like that, you might get robbed, man. You in the shop. Be, you know what I mean? It looks like Trig is definitely frustrated because a lot is going to be coming down on him. We're seeing your boy Leon. Leon will be coming into the shy universe. And I'm looking forward to, you know, he's a class. He's a legendary actor. Legendary actor, Leon. So we're going to see what his role is. I'm thinking he's possibly going to be, you know, Rob's father, but he's going to play this guy named Alonzo. Now, Alonzo does look like a shifty guy, look like a boss himself, but he might be Rob's father. I'm just making a guess at it. We'll see. Looks like Fatima's reaching out to Vic, a.k.a. Trig, because the feds caught up with Trig. Again, He, they do have information on him burying somebody that Duda took out. So, yeah, Rosalind did try to warn him, but he looks like he overstepped and the feds are now after him and taking him in. Looks like definitely somebody got popped. Somebody had to get popped for Emmett to be crying like this. Darnell in the background. And, yeah, it doesn't look good as far as Fatima and Trig. This may be the ending of their relationship. Too much to be involved with. And, yeah, we see Bakari and his little brother. I mean, excuse me, little sister. Right. G. And it looks like they might be going into business together. We shall see. But we got a new character on the scene at the dinner table with the fam. New young man coming to the stage. Who is it? This guy right here is going to be playing a new character called Damien. All right. So we're going to find out what his involvement is. But he's definitely connected to Keish, Darnell, and the whole family. All right. So we find out what's going on. But yeah, Bakari, Lene, look like they finally going to get back together. Probably forgiving everything that happened. He's going to turn over a new leaf. He's going to try to live the right life. And legendary actor Kadeem Hardison will play Professor Gardner. Absolutely good to see him again. If you remember him from a different world and many other projects he's been on. Absolutely a legend in the game. So definitely salute to him. Welcome to the Shy universe. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to what he's going to do. But look at your boy Shy. Yo, he's all cleaned up. I mean, he looks like he's working for Alicia, so he got a whole new suit. He ain't with Shorty anymore. And yeah, Alicia looks like she is taking over, right? So a whole new squad is going down. Yeah, look like Nina. She probably missing on Kevin, and Keisha's definitely going to be there for her. And I don't see Dre. What's up with that? I don't see. But yeah, look like Emmett going getting problems again, right? Getting into it with Duda again. Buck is going to be throwing him against the wall. You know, Duda going to be like, should I take him out or what? But Alicia walks in right here on this trail and says, you know what? I should have never sent my boy to do a woman's job. Yeah, she is ready to take him out. By the look on his face, man, it looks like he's doomed. It looks like he knows there is no other way that she is going to take him out one way or another, whether it be by her hand 
or she gonna set him up one way or another. So it looks like, man, yo, Alicia coming through to reign supreme in the shot. What's gonna happen? You guys drop your predictions below, but it's about to go down. Who will reign supreme in the shot universe? Is coming back May 10th. Definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, fam. Stay connected with your boy VK because I'm going to bring it to you straight, fam. All right. I appreciate you all for watching. Till next time. Salute.